And what's up all you boys and girls? We're back with another vlog. I guess it's more of like a jet ski thing now because all I really do is jet skis so far on this channel. We'll do other, other stuff later. We're getting to it. Actually, uh, if I remember to record President's Day weekend, I might be uh, finally getting my bike back out after the last year and a half, two years. My, uh, my amazing poor little YZ450 that's just sitting over there collecting dust. Um, but other than that, we're getting in today's video and we're starting now. So as you guys know, from my last video, I kind of exposed the fact that I took on more project skis. So, um, kind of where we're at with this one, I already kind of got the skis moving around. As you guys saw in the last video, I was talking about moving shit around. So that's what I did. I moved shit around in the last video off camera. So we got this glorious a one owner 1987 js 650 and it's mine and it's going to be mine for a short period of time because I think we're just going to clean this one up and sell it guys um to be honest with you uh i saw it as a really great deal um just needs a motor and as far as motors go, we kind of went over in the last video, we're going to use my um, motor that came out of the uh, the Black 90 race ski. And then um, we're going to clean this up, get it ready, and uh, probably put it on the market in the next month after the pink slip comes in. So, please excuse the wind noise. As you guys can see, she is filthy. We're going to start with giving her a wash. We're going to give you guys a full breakdown on what's going on with this thing and what all that's probably going to happen with it before i uh i feel she's good and ready to go Alrighty, guys so as you guys can see we went ahead and pulled the uh 87 out and around and as you guys can see she's kind of dirty we're going to do a quick walk around on this thing and kind of go over what's all going to be done with this build before it goes off to its new owner so immediately Oh my god, I know it's nostalgia, but this stuff is so cheesy and it's gotta go. Um, I gotta go get some materials. We're gonna remove on, work on removing this old decal kit, as well as we're gonna get all these old CF numbers off of here and get some, some nice new color-coordinated CF numbers, as well as um, a couple little cosmetic things I wanna go over. First of all, we're gonna get this thing hosed off really quick, and then uh, we'll go a little more into depth on what's going on with this build. There you have it guys we went ahead and gave her a nice little quick rinse off she looks a little better now but she's still got a ways to go we gotta go get some material we're gonna get some goo gone for this we're gonna maybe wash it a little better i don't know so we're gonna rip these stickers off we're gonna rip these stickers off and then as far as the uh cosmetics go there's a couple of other things i'm uh contemplating about doing with this thing so um kind of going a little deeper into depth there's some chipping on the handle pole here here there's a nice little gouge right here um this is cracked up here as well as a nice crack right here as well so um i got another one of these but unfortunately it's not red and we got a part ski so I might take the blue handle pole off of that other 89 that I picked up and uh, grab another front cover piece in the pole, strip it down, 
give it a nice similar red color paint job to restore this thing back to its 87 uh, colors. Um, it's not gonna be 100% on, but it's gonna be a lot better and it's gonna look so much more presentable when uh, the next owner gets to pick this thing up and sees what kind of condition it's gonna be in when I'm done with it. So um, also we got some more decals down here that's gonna get removed. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do some uh, some swapping around. This one has a very nice finned PJS ride plate that I'm thinking about keeping, as well as that PJS scoop intake. So um, I have a stock ride plate I'm thinking about putting on it to kind of put the sink badass back to factory as I can. And then I was also thinking um, <clears throat> the, uh, the blue 89 as well has a nice, um, west coast uh scoop intake grate not a scoop but like um like an open intake like this one has but it's not as aggressive i kind of want to keep that one for myself unless i could find a uh original intake grate that would be uh so much more cooler if i could come across one um i got a couple of uh isos out for that stock intake grate i have the stock um I have a stock ride plate sitting in my junk somewhere that we're gonna slap on here. Pretty sure, um, kind of looking in there, the uh, the prop impeller is gonna most likely be stock. Um, but yeah, other than that, going a little more in depth on this thing, a uh, little thing that kind of bugged me is this guy's missing. So I'm probably gonna rob one off of the uh, the white 89 over there because that skis a little further back from being done than this one. And in the meantime, I can at least put out a, in search of as well for another one of these to uh, replace after I steal one off of that ski. Um, chin pad is as great as original condition can ever be. Um, th this thing is a time machine, guys. I mean. How often do you see a 650 and still see all of its stock original trim pieces, stock original Cowie thumb throttle? I mean, come on, guys. You never see this. We're going to rip the grips off of this thing as well. Um, get a nice set of uh, maybe some ODIs for it or maybe something just a little more um, plain, kind of uh, take it back to a 87 look. Um, I would love to, after we kind of clean all this up, see if I could find an original 87 or close to 87 graphics kit, kind of make this thing look like a OG Cowie again. And then also, this is where it's going to get fun. We're going to dive into the engine bay. Okay, guys, so uh, just bear with me and the wind noise is starting to get crappier out here as far as the weather goes. But we're gonna go ahead and dive on into this thing. And, uh, a couple of really cool things is the ski has the original candle pole holder, which is pretty dang cool. Um, little little fun little uh, Easter eggs. A lot of people don't know. If you actually look in here. This little guy that you guys see on most of your 650s if you have it is actually a holder for your locking key for the handle pull. Um, some of the newer model skis had a uh, a key with a uh, like a tether that gets bolted in here so you can't lose it. But this little clamp right here holds it in. And if you lose this, any, any uh, decent size Allen key about the same size will do the same. So, Fun little trick for you guys to know about uh, 650s and how to uh, properly hold their poles up. So now, the moment you've all been waiting for, we're gonna pop the hood. And by the way, little things like this are just so cool when you get to see original decals on these things. As you can see, it's got a a slash magazine sticker that's probably all the way straight from like 1989 this guy is gonna be goo gone we're gonna clean some of this stuff up too but enough talking about uh shit that we're gonna clean we're gonna dive into what's in the engine bay and da, 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 da. 
It's all taken apart already. So uh, believe it or not, the guy was really nice. Um, he kind of gave me all the bolts and everything. He said he kind of went into taking it apart, trying to figure out what was wrong with it. Um, he kind of left it like this 20 years ago. So, but one thing that he did do is he was trying to make sure that the pistons were good, which he thought were. And I was hoping this motor was gonna be savable too. But unfortunately, it needs a complete top end rebuild. If I could get this head off. But uh, coming in here, of course, sitting in storage for the longest time as well is not good for, uh, you know, pistons just being set in the open and, you know, in any outside materials. But that little guy right there, I'd say he lost compression. These things are pretty torched as far as these uh, pistons go. I mean, they're not in crazy bad shape, but they look like they're welded in there. Pretty good from just sitting over time. Again, this ski did sit for 20 something years. And uh, it, uh, of course, doesn't really, well, hey, they do turn with a lot of give but yeah so anytime you uh you have issues with trying to turn the motor by hand like i am right now that's a sign as well that uh you can have a motor or a pump issue when you're looking at these things but in other news um very soon probably in the next upcoming video or in the next week or two we are going to dive into pulling this motor out, which is already pretty much ready to come out. We're gonna clean this thing up like what we did with the uh, the 90 that's on the trailer. And uh, we're gonna grab the motor that is in here. <clears throat> Excuse me, that wind sucks. But going back to this guy that we've talked about oh so many times, we are basically going to um, pull the head off of this motor. We're gonna pull the pipe off of it. We're gonna use all the factory stuff off of that ski, try to keep it as original 87 as we can. And um, we are going to clean it up the best we can. I know this motor's good. I know this motor has compression. So we're pretty much just gonna swap this motor into that ski, detail it and clean it up. And we're gonna have a running 1987 JS650 in no time. Okay guys, so I think we're gonna bring this quick little video up to an end. This is basically an introduction video to the 1987 JS uh, 650 build that we're gonna do. We're kind of cutting this one in line in front of the other skis because it's gonna be uh, the least amount of work. Uh, some of the stuff's pretty much already ready to go and we could go in depth on doing the uh, cosmetic work. Um, I don't think the pole and the uh, front trim piece is gonna be too big of a deal. Like I said, I got other parts around that we can use as far as sanding one down, cleaning it up, going and getting some red paint, or just taking it to one of my friends that could shoot it with a gun and um, get everything clean, dried up, looking as good as new, and get this thing running hopefully within the next month. Um, hopefully it doesn't take a month to get it running, but I wanna have this thing said, done, dialed in, titles, stickers, everything. Pretty much my goal is by the end of February. So uh, this one's gonna be our priority. And then as soon as we free up some time from this one, when we're waiting for stuff, we're gonna jump probably back over to pulling the motor out of the, um, the 89 over there, the blue one. And then we're probably gonna be going into uh, cosmetics works on that one as well. We're not gonna go too crazy with that one. I kind of just wanna sand it down and bring it back to its original colors, just white and blue. And uh, I would really like to put both these skis on the market at the same time, but I don't think that's gonna be able to happen. So the 87 is gonna be on the market first. And then after the blue one's done and we got that one as close back to uh, original, that one will be going back on the, that one will be going on the market as well. Um, I'm not in the, I'm not doing this just to build, buy skis, build them, sell them. It's just a hobby of mine that I'm sharing with you guys. It, it 
helps me make a little bit of extra money and I feel it's fun content. I enjoy doing it and I figure you guys would enjoy seeing me do it. So that's pretty much why we're doing this. It's not like a, a business, so to say. Um, I don't take it too, too serious. I have a full-time job that keeps me pretty busy as the week as it is. I don't get a lot of time during the week to actually come home and do stuff like this. Um, but I'm hoping in the, uh, the next set of videos in the following week um, that uh, we are going to be able to be in the garage, uh, maybe be able to come home if it's not too late, turn the heaters on and work in here and just kind of do what I can. Um, so long as it doesn't go too late in the evening or whatever the case may be. But I really want to try and start getting some more work done with these things. And yeah, and there I go rambling again. There I go. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Shoot me your comments. I want to see what you guys have to think. I think I have like one or two whole subscribers. So let's shoot high. Let's, uh, let's make the goal by the end of February to have at least 10 subscribers. So tell your friends, tell your moms, tell your dads, tell your dogs. Your dogs will probably like me because I love dogs and dogs love me. So tell your dogs to watch me, tell your dogs to comment. So uh, like, comment, subscribe guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Vlog out.